Hello! You find me in a Citroen C1 today because I've got a little fault with it. We have got... To join your recontract today, oh. that's Sky Broadband. Rip it off. Let me start it. <laughs> that little chap. I'll yeah. zoom in. That is the airbag warning light, so there is a fault with the airbag. One of the airbags. But I don't know which one. So I have purchased, from his pocket, an airbag emulator. You plug this into whichever airbag you suspect is faulty, into the, not into the airbag, but into the, the plug side of the car side of the plug, and this emulates what an airbag is. And we'll see if it works, and then we're going to open it up and have a look inside and see what's, what's in there. Now, this car has got driver's airbag, passenger's airbag, and two side seat, seat airbags. Your first fault for airbags is usually the seats, because they get moved and the cables, but those ones, they look okay, the cables plug it in out fine. The other option is the airbag switch for disabling the passenger airbag, but... From the internet and the forums, it's most likely to be the control for this airbag. So, we will try first removing this airbag. Uh, they look like hex. That's not a hex. I should point out that I've mostly just picked this airbag at random because I don't have any diagnostics that will do the airbag ECU. Right, let us safely put the airbag somewhere else just now. Yeah, won't you? Thank you. Put this in a metal bomb proof box, obviously, because you don't want that anywhere. And we shall try our airbag emulator. When we open it up, I'm assuming it's going to be a resistor in a box. And I mean, it's, it's nicely made. It's a nicely mail, well made box, nice pins, They're nice and strong with a few of them. I notice the box is universal, There's, you can see the holes on that side and that side, so obviously it doesn't matter which way they assemble them. The main thing is, does it fit in the holes? <laughs> no, it's nowhere near the holes. <laughs> Let me zoom you in a bit, which... Can you see those two holes there? They're that size, and this is... This is this size. A little bit of a bend. Give them a little... I'll peek over. We'll stick them in the stick them in there. Oh, okay, they're in. Oh, ah, that's the thingy wire for the horn. We'll just remove you right now. Stop pressing the horn. Ah, I could have just unplugged that. Right. So with that plugged in, let us see if we still have an airbag light. We do! It is still twinkling. He said, it's trying to zoom back out. So, we still totally have an airbag light. Now, that just means it's not the airbag airbag. It could still be the, what do you call it, the clock thing in there. It could still be that, so we need to get to the other side of that, but that's a story for another day. What we're going to do is go inside and Take this apart and see what's inside. Well, that wasn't hugely successful, but that might just mean that the resistance of this thing doesn't match what the car's looking for, or, or it's the wrong airbag. I really need to get diagnostics that read the airbag stuff so I can see which one it is and we'll test it again later. <gasps> but in the meantime, let us have a look inside. Now, the easiest way I saw is when I tried to squeeze these pins here, to get it to fit in the hole, it popped the case open. So, let's look inside. Oh, look! Black nonsense. Hmm. It's potted a little bit, but that definitely looks like a resistor on some gold terminals. So, let us... I'm just going to change the ends of that into the gripping on kind. And drop one on the floor. Uh, big up! 
There we go. Then, let's just bring a meter in. Big Clive style. Oh, you can mostly see that. And then we'll put one of these terminals on there. Another one on there. And set this to resistance. Oh, it's climbing slowly. That's odd. 2.4 ohms. 2.4 ohms doesn't seem enough. So the last time I man we'll call it manually, I've manualed out an airbag, uh, it was like 300 ohms was the resistance. Two and a half ohms. Two point, wait, did we get 2.4 before? Oh, you know, I can't remember. What should I have done? Watch the video back. Well, let me connect them both to the same thing. And then we'll get the resistance of the wires, which is 0 .0, 0 0.2 ohms. We'll go across the thing. So we can call that like 2.3 ohms. That doesn't really seem enough. You know what? This is quite squishy, so let's tear this apart and have a, see if we can get inside. Quiet birds! I can run across the roof of the workshop. Right, this should just pull apart. Uh, I'm going to get a poking, poking screwdriver. A poking screwdriver. Dig this out of here. Ooh, it is jelly. It's a squishy jelly kind of potting. Like, mm, maybe a black silicone. Let's see if we can fire our way in. How about a blade? Here's to cutting ourselves. Right. Brain licks in. I want to try and get it so we can see the value on the resistor. Unlike Big Live. I don't know them all off the top of my head, but we can Google. Do, 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 do. Assuming I haven't broken it, and assuming that it's not broken already. Well, we're getting there. So it is literally a resistor in potting compound with some nice terminals put on the end of it to poke into things. Could you make your own? Absolutely you could. You might not get it in a nice box though. I mean it was only Two pounds, I think, delivered. All right, let me use my eyes to see if I can see the <laughs> colours. What colour do you think those are supposed to be? Is that red? Red, 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 gold. Do you go that way? Red, 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 gold. I know. What I'm going to do is Google what a two ohm, what colour two ohm resistor is. Or two, well, that'd be right, it'd be red, red, gold. Which would be 22 times 0 0.1. Yeah, twin, so. Red, red, gold. 2.2 ohms. 2.2 ohms doesn't seem enough for an airbag. Well, not in my experience, but it is what it is. It is a resistor with two pins stuck on it in a nice little box so you could make your own don't please please god don't go probing airbags no the meter shouldn't set them off because they do require a full 12 volts and quite no uh, do they need a lot of current i can't really know but they definitely need 12 volts to set them off but please for the love of god don't go poking airbags to check the resistance not unless you're a good distance away using nice long leads you know but i didn't say that that wasn't totally wasn't me Anyway, now that this hasn't worked in the car, I need to get diagnostics. Thanks for watching, guys.